Hello, hello. It's been uh, quite an interesting few weeks since my last video. I um, was able to go on vacation to Orlando um, and did countless incredibly fun things. And now that I'm back, it seems like uh, normal life was pretty boring. So we're trying to do fun things around here. I'm actually just home from uh, a Halloween event uh, locally here that was a lot of fun but I figured I should um, do a video and showcase all the things that <laughs> I picked up along the way because if you didn't spend money on a bunch of stuff did you even really do anything so we'll go from here and in no particular order because I just have stuff everywhere here and I'm just gonna go through it one by one see what we come up with so first off we'll start with the less exciting things universal studios frankenstein and halloween horror nights tote bag um you know just something fun to carry my groceries around in nothing tote bag is a tote bag but uh use them all the time so I bought that one and we also got a Wizarding World of Harry Potter one so I don't know if you'll be able to see yeah you can see the snake and the lion and the eagle and the badger so just a couple of uh, things that live in my truck and remind me of some of the fun we had while we were there and then we got lots more goodies. I guess we'll jump over to Disney. In Galaxy's Edge, I picked up this small little droid. It's one of those wind-up ones where you, uh, and he spins in circles. Um, he reminded me of Chopper, so that's why I picked him up. I didn't realize later that they actually had Chopper just like this, but I had already committed to this, and this is C-14B. I don't know if he's from... That Star Wars cartoon nobody watched. I don't know. But I thought it was cute, so I picked it up. He'll live in here somewhere. Collect dust. So let's get into this bag. See what all we got in here. Okay, so there's the end of that. So we, st we have a pin for Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice is one of the scare houses and while this is a cool pin, what I should have started with is the shirt I'm wearing for the Halloween Horror Nights. There we go. Don't go alone because everyone knows that if you are being attacked by a monster, you don't want to be alone. So you have someone to push to the ground so you can run away. Um, so yeah, this was the Horror Nights shirt this year. Let's see if I can not knock over any wires while I show a little bit of the back to you it just has all the houses and everything um and yeah it's a t-shirt so we have a marauder's map face mask because unfortunately you still need face masks i thought this was pretty cool and uh thought it would f go right at home on the pin board so a dark mark Pen. And keeping on theme, a Universal Studios Halloween Horror Nights pin. Let's see if it, if I get out of the way, maybe it'll focus. Well, if you can't see that, I've got something to help you out. But we'll get to that in a few minutes. And then I thought this was really cool. It is a Diagon Alley pin you can see we have Ollivanders and there's a nocturne alley sign and a couple of posters and I thought it was really cool so I picked it up um, I also did the scarecrow stalks where you go around and trick-or-treat in all of uh, the Universal stores so I had a lot of fun doing that and it was uh, something different to do you don't get to do that all the time so I was happy to do it um, I also found this small Dumbledore and Fox, I don't even want, want to call them action figure set because I don't, it doesn't really look like they have any action, but uh, yeah, I figured it's on brand, fits in the room, so I got it. 
And then I really enjoyed doing the Weasley Home Metal Earth. So I picked up the Universal Studios Orlando Arches Metal Earth. So I'll be doing that at some point in the future when I get to it. My project list just keeps growing, growing, growing. And one thing I was really excited about, and now I'm gonna have to find some wall space, is the same thing that was on that pin, only in an MDF sign for the wall. So very, very cool, like it very much. And Halloween Horror Nights 21, I'm more than happy to try to find some wall space for something like that. Now that's all well and good, but I can't really do something like going to Diagon Alley and Hogsmeade and everything without you know, going big for the game room. So, oh, let's see. And going so big that it has to be shipped to my house and doesn't arrive until after I get home. So let's open it up, see if it all made it in one piece or if, the, or if this video is gonna be a lot more interesting of me pulling out broken pieces. But let's open it up very carefully. <laughs> I was not expecting this. There is, uh, can you see this is peanuts? Oh my goodness, foam peanuts. If I had any projects that I was going to be using foam peanuts for, I would be set. Okay, so now I can reach what is actually the prize in here, sort of. The grand reveal. Oh, Lord. Let's get this box out of the way and I can actually move it. Oh. I'm going to be rolling on peanuts. Yeah, I can't even move my chair. So, the Dark Wizard Dark Mark Wand Holder, or what the Dark Wizard Wand Set is what they call it. So. Looks like it, um, we obviously have the Dark Mark wand holder, and we have a Death Eater wand, which just has a skull on it, generic. Lord Voldemort's wand, a Death Eater wand with the swirl, a Death Eater wand with the snake, and a Death Eater wand with the thorn. So, I thought it was pretty cool. And I was, I'm always in the market for something like this, so this was uh, calling my name. And similar to my sign, I'm more than happy to try to find some wall space. Something is going to have to get bumped for something of this size. I mean, look at this chunky thing. It takes up the whole screen. See if I can actually open it up without breaking anything. Okay. Please note, display plaque on this side. Turn over for wands. So we'll turn it over. And we'll get the wands first, since they are probably more delicate. Let's see if I can cut this open. It's incredibly well packed, which is a good thing, because it had to make a far journey to get to my game room. And I'm sure the owls that carried it were working very hard to keep it safe. Is that enough cuts? Is that enough cuts? Nope, one more. Okay. So, there you can see all the beautiful wands on display. So let's get them out and go through them. So this is our Death Eater Thorn Wand. Love it feels uh, it feels dangerous just to hold it like 
you're gonna hurt yourself holding a wand like this. It seems appropriate for a Death Eater. Very, very cool. And now, the Death Eater Skull Wand. Pretty creepy looking skull, I dig it. And then the wood, all twisted and warped and, again, appropriate. Love it. It's, uh, it's October now, so it's the Halloween season. A lot of ghouls and ghosts are out roaming the streets. So these, uh, it's right on brand. This one's a little bit more elegant. We have the, uh, I guess that's the dark mark with the skull and this, the serpent going in and out, coming out of the mouth and wrapping around. But when you get down here and have this gold accents and a nice smooth wand, so. I dig it, I dig it. And now the snake. I like that there's a, uh, a skeleton under there. Yeah, nice and smooth wand, a little bit curved and crooked, and he's got the, you can see the scales and everything, so. This one feels really good. Uh, you're, you're uh, pinky finger fits right under there. This one feels like you could do some damage with it. And of course, last but not least, Lord Voldemort's wand. Super cool. It looks like old bone, which I think it is. This is bone. And again, with the hook right there, your pinky just slides right in. Love it. So that's awesome. And now, how these wands can be prominently displayed. Let's see if I can cut this open. Heavy. It looks like metal because I think it is metal. This thing, he is a chunky boy. Look at this thing. He weighs a couple of pounds and it is a couple of pounds of pure evil, which is pure fun for this room. So very shiny. I love it. The snake down there and you can see the hooks for the wands and the skull. It's very, very cool. You're gonna stay, I don't know. I'm gonna end up breaking something by trying to quickly throw this together with one hand. Oh, please tell me you're not broke. Just a little bit on the back there. This thing came a little, it's a little loose now. That's why they made super glue. But, so there we go. In all its evil glory. And where am I gonna find room for this? No idea, don't care. I love it and I will find room for it. So that's all, thanks for watching. See you next time, bye.